Hey guys, I'm James, also known as Just Some Nerd, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can put together a screen accurate Ghostbusters costume on a budget just with parts from Amazon, eBay, and your local dollar store. As a cosplayer, one of the questions I get asked most often is, where did you get this stuff? And in the case of my Ghostbusters costume, the answer is often that you can get this stuff on Amazon. And since it's readily available on Amazon, it's not that expensive. So you can put together a pretty screen accurate Ghostbusters costume for really not that much to get started. Especially compared to say like a Stormtrooper costume or something like that. That's, you know, a big investment just to get started with. While with Ghostbusters, you can get a flight suit and a couple patches for like 60 bucks and be well on your way to a screen accurate costume. I have links in the description to everything I'm talking about in this video so you can order your own gear and get started today. All right guys, let's get started with the flight suit. There are a few different options available, but what I'm wearing here is a true spec suit. And while it lacks a couple of the pockets that the screen new suits wore, it has the most recognizable elements. But most importantly, it's readily available on Amazon for about $45. It comes in a variety of sizes and colors. And of course, for the most accurate Ghostbusters look, you're gonna want to get khaki, but don't be afraid to be a colorful Ghostbuster and go with something different. Once you have your flight suit, you're gonna to want to get a couple of patches. And while there are Ghostbusters patches available on Amazon, they're not the most accurate ones. So I'm going to recommend a seller on eBay for these. These sets cost just under $20, and I've ordered the Ghostbusters 1 and 2 style patches from this seller, and they both look great. She also gives you the option of having a custom name patch or having the name of one of the characters from the movie. I should mention that while these are iron-on patches, that I recommend that you sew them anyway, because if you just iron them on, eventually they're going to start to peel off. Next, we're going to move on to one of the surprisingly difficult parts to find, which is these elbow pads. And what these really are, are volleyball knee pads. The issue that you come across is that nobody makes them in gray and that they normally have a logo on them. So what I've found that's currently on Amazon are these white ones for $18. That is maybe a little high, but they don't have any logos on them. And what we can do is pick up some gray paint and just paint these guys gray. You can try to dye them, but in my experience, these don't take dye very well. If you want to add a little extra detail, you can mask off a small square by the elbow joint and paint it black. <clears throat> Moving on to the next section is the utility belt. These canvas pistol belts are on Amazon for just $8 and are really close to the real deal. They come in a few different colors, but not the light gray as seen in Ghostbusters 1. Luckily, these are cotton and take dye really well, so just get some RIT pearl gray dye and follow the instructions on the box and it'll come out great and look much more accurate. Alternatively, the belts worn in Ghostbusters 2 are khaki and you can just order this belt and use it the way it is. In the movie, these keychains on the pistol belt are leather, but we're gonna get creative and save a few bucks. Head to your local dollar store and pick up some dog collars like these. This is a great hack for cosplay in general because buckles and snaps like this can cost several dollars at the craft store and these nylon straps can cost a couple of dollars a yard but at the dollar store, you can get these for a dollar. So what we're gonna do is cut these up and hot glue them together. If you wanna add some fake snaps, while you're at the dollar store, grab a package of googly eyes and paint them silver. For the black gloves, you can pick these up on Amazon for $8. They are a little bit long, so if you want, you can just cut a couple inches off. In the original Ghostbusters movie, their leg hose is yellow, but in Ghostbusters 2, it's clear. So in order to make this easier on ourselves, at your local hardware store, you can pick up this half-inch clear tubing for about 30 cents a foot. You're going to want about 5 feet, depending on how tall you are. And now we're going to need something to connect the hose to the suit. In the movie, it was a little rubber gasket that was sewn onto their costume. But what I have here is a couple of PVC fittings that screw together and hold themselves in place. What I like about doing it this way is that it can be easily removed when you wash your costume. Alternatively, if you have a 3D printer, there are several models available on Thingiverse for these. Some of them are designed to be sewn in like the screen used ones, and some of them are designed with magnets so they can be easily removed. Alright guys, now let's talk about boots. The Ghostbusters wear Vietnam era combat boots and they often have their pant leg tucked into the boot, but not always. You might already have a pair of boots similar to these. If so, great, use those. If not, you can pick these up on Amazon for around $30, which is a great price, but man, these are uncomfortable. I used to own a pair and 
I was not a fan. If you're looking for a super accurate pair, you can check these guys out, but they're gonna cost you as much as everything else I'm talking about here put together. My advice and what I did would be just go check out your local shoe store and see what they have in stock, see what fits you and see what's comfortable. The boots I wear are maybe not the most accurate, but they are comfortable and weren't super expensive. I, I also recommend matching socks. So that's all the basic parts of the costume. Now let's talk about a couple of accessories. First here's an easy DIY way to make the ecto goggles. You can pick up these welding goggles on Amazon or at your local hardware store for around $10. While you are at the hardware store, go look at the PVC connectors. These will only cost you like 50 cents each, so pick out a few of those that match the look of the ecto goggles. Then you can repaint your goggles with dark green spray paint and your PVC fittings black and silver. Again, if you have a 3D printer, this is absolutely something that could be 3D printed. If you have more questions about how I made these, let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll make a more in-depth video talking about how I made these. Or these are a little beat up, so maybe I should make a new pair anyway. I have a couple of other accessories back here like my 3D printed Proton Pack and my Ghost Trap. But if you're putting together your costume on a budget and you don't really feel like making a lot of this stuff yourself, you should check out the Spirit Halloween Proton Packs. These are currently in stock on the Spirit website and they have 25% off code, so the pack would be $56 plus shipping at the moment. Last Halloween, these were really hard to find, so if you're interested in one, I recommend that you pick it up now while they're available. So the last thing I'd like to talk about is you maybe notice all the pieces of flair that I have on my flight suit. Most of these are things that my team, the Ghostbusters West Virginia Division, sell to raise money for our fundraising campaign. Every Christmas we do a big toy drive for less fortunate kids in the area. And if you're interested in helping support our fundraising efforts, or if you just think any of these pins look cool, a lot of the stuff is available online for you to order and all of that money goes to our fundraising and we would really appreciate it if you could support us. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I wanna thank Andrew from premiermagazine.com. He wrote an article that about all this stuff that not only in Inspired me to put together my Ghostbusters costume, but also inspired this video. So I'll put a link to his article in the description, as well as links to all the stuff that I've talked about here, so that you can order your own gear. If there's anything I talked about in this video that you'd like more information on, please let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like more information about the Ghostbusters West Virginia Division, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well, and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.